protecting that plant health is what we are entire program is based on. I'm going to kind of just shoot around through here on some products real quick. This is our oldest ag product, WEX. Uh, it's not hard to guess which one of these are going to take up more nutrients, which is going to take more water in a late season when we were begging for water. There's a noticeable difference there. Even look at the stalks. There's, I mean, half again, if not more of that stalk and the size of it. Another product we'll, we'll go to on the soybean side is Magnify LST. It's a liquid soybean inoculant. We have the one that was native to soybean plants. The biggest issue, guys, is the potency. You, got, you have to have live bacteria on that seed for them to do their job. They're, they're a nitrogen fixation bacteria. If you don't have them on there, they don't work. That's why we pretty much tell our guys, we want to see this on the seed and in the ground in 72 hours because that's what you paid for. Why not get it what you paid for, the dollars on it? So that's where we see our yield bump is because we know we've got a higher amount of them on per seed. And you're going to, if you follow our guidelines, you're going to have them in the ground where they can do what they're supposed to do. What Amplify D and Amplify L or just the Amplify line is, it, it's a seed emergence aid. So if you have a perfect spring with no stress, you know, soil temperature is exactly where you dialed it and everything's perfect, you're probably not going to need this or not going to see much yield. If you have a spring like this year where we had moisture, we had temperature drop down into the 40s at night and, you know, three, four, five days of that cold soil and everything else, you're going to have emergence issues. Those seeds only got so much, basically, AMP energy inside their cells to get their cells out, germinate. And guess what? If it don't come through and don't germinate, you don't get that big offense, it don't yield. That seed left in the ground in August and September does not yield. Guardian. Nitrogen stabilizer. If you use 32, 28, urea, we know there's nitrogen loss. There's you know, nitrates, if, if nitrates, whether you have leaching, solidization, whatever else. There's, what this is actually going to do is it's basically going to give them a sleeping pill. And it's going to get by you 30 to 45 days of inactivity from the nitrosomonas bacteria. That allows these plants that you have out here trying to drink that, gives them time to use it without competition. You have a product here that you can just basically put those asleep and do nothing to the other bacteria, let them do what they're supposed to do, as they call the brown revolution, and plus see your yield bump. So that to me is one of those products, if you're using anything outside of anhydrous, if you're using anhydrous, I would tell you to take a good look at 3228 and a, and a uh, nitrogen program that's not smoking the soil and earthworms. And this product should be in everyone's toolbox. I don't feel that there's a silver bullet in agriculture ever. The one thing I feel that Constant has, and I guess I don't feel it, but thousands and thousands of growers feel, the profile, the whole program, I should say, the systems approach of starting from A to Z, starting from the, both the soil, treating it, to the seed, all the way through with products that work together synergistically to make that one plus one equal five type thing.